Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. This is the part 4 of Complaint Management System in Excel and VBA. In this tutorial, we are going to create a Resolve Complaints user form for CMS application. Let's move to the Complaint Management Excel file which we have created in our previous tutorial. So here you can see that uh, this is the file which we created in uh, part 2 and part 3. So if you have not watched part 2 and part 3 and even demo part, uh, please watch uh, both the tutorials uh, so that uh, you will be able to uh, relate the logic and understand the logic which we are going to apply in our upcoming tutorials and this uh, this part as well. Okay. So let's uh, move to the de uh, developer tab and jump to visual basic application. And here you can see that we are in Visual Basic application window. And in our part 3 tutorial, we inserted this like uh, we created this form, the complaint management system form. And this is the parent form from where you can read the complaint and view the summary basically. It will uh, display high, medium, low, and overall. And apart from all these like raising and viewing the summary, uh, you can also see the pending complaints list and resolve complaints list. And as we discuss in the demo part, whenever we uh, user uh, wants to uh, resolve the cases, then you just need to double click on the pending complaint list, this one, on any of the record and it will open a separate window that will be resolve complaints window. And in, in this tutorial, we are going to create that, uh, that particular user form, okay. So uh, to add a new form, just uh, click on insert and here. In insert menu just click on uh, user form so this is the method we can also uh, add user form apart from that you can also right click on the project explorer here and insert and then user form now you can see that uh, we have inserted uh, a new uh, user form that is user form 1 and we will utilize this form for uh, resolve complaints you know to resolve the complaints basically okay so uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, set the properties, the required properties of user form and then we will start adding the required input controls for uh, this particular form. So uh, let's uh, select this form and this is the properties window. Here we need to set the properties. So first of all, we will change the name. So the name would be FRM Resolve. Okay. And the caption, we need to change the caption. So the caption would be resolve complaint and now we need to change the height and weight so the height would be 248 or you may you can 250 let's take 250 and the width uh, should be 455 okay so now we have done with the height width and uh, even the name and caption okay so we have done with uh, the required properties of form let's start inserting the input controls so first of all we will insert uh, a frame so let's uh, select this frame from the toolbox and draw a frame so here we are utilizing the frame for a border so we will not utilize uh, the name and you know will not make the change the caption and name so we need to remove the caption because we are not going to show any caption and the border style should be one single and let's change the border color so currently it's black let's change it to green because it's this particular form is associated with uh, resolve complaints and that's the reason we are uh, selecting the border color as a green okay so now we have done with the border color i uh, like the frame let's start adding uh, the labels so first of all we need uh, the labels for uh, date basically so this is the label so let's uh, select the label and insert the label over here and now let's uh, let's make it a little bit bigger then again this is for date now this is for employee name and again we need to insert a label for customer name okay and then again uh, this is for customer email ok 
okay so we have uh, four different levels here one is for date so let's uh, change the caption so caption would be date and then we need to change the font size basically so let's keep it uh, till 9 then again this would be 9 size for this and the caption would be employee name okay let's select the level 3 and the caption would be customer name and the font size would be uh, 9 let's select the level 4 and the caption would be customer email and the font size would be 9 so we have done with the labels or the initial four levels like date employee name customer name and you know uh, the customer email so let's select all these labels here and go to the format menu and then align and the alignment should be left align and again the format menu and the vertical spacing that should be make equal so now let's uh, go to format menu again and the make width so height and width both are same for all the four labels basically let's press ctrl s to save this file whatever the changes we have made now we uh, need to insert the text control text box control for here like for date and employee name so we will utilize the text box so let's go to the toolbox and in toolbox or just select the text box here and let's okay and change the size currently it's 18 so make it 20 now let's uh, replicate the same same so let it make it little bit wider so i think this is sufficient just copy this and paste it for employee name then customer name and then uh, customer email so uh, now let's uh, insert one more text box for a resolution summary basically so first of all we need to in insert a label so let's copy this label and paste it over here and just change the caption here so the caption should be resolution summary okay now we need to insert a text box so just copy this text box and replicate this for resolution summary and as the resolution summary would be for uh, like for multi-line so let's make it a little bit bigger so that user can provide the comments uh, the required comments in this in this text box now we have done with the required input controls let's insert uh, a command button so this is the command button over here just draw a command button and let's let's increase the size uh, the width basically okay so now we have done with the required uh, you know input controls let's uh, set the property so the text box this is for date so the name would be txt date txt date and this is for employee name so this would be txt employee name now this is for customer name so txt customer name cust name and this is for customer email so txt customer email and this would be txt summary basically summary now here we need to uh, you know change some more properties so first of all it should be multi line so let's move below and here you can see that multi line is false so make it true so just select this and change it to true 
so here scroll bar currently it is, it is showing frm scroll bar none so now we need to make it both so this is based on like it will be automatically uh, added here if the text size will increase then it will uh, show the vertical and horizontal scroll bar so now let's uh, select this the command button and we need to change the the properties so here uh, it should be cmd submit okay and the caption would be submit and accelerator should be s press control s to save this so here date and employee name both would be generated by uh, system itself and system will update uh, the current date and the employee name who is working on this particular uh, resolutions like uh, the complaint basically right so it means we need to log this so that user will not be able to make any modification and again customer name and customer email is coming from uh, the frm complaint data let me show you it will come from this so that will also be like both the fields will also be updated by system itself but that will be coming from the pending complaints it means we are not going to authorize users so that user can make the changes in both the fields okay so user will have right to change the data provide the resolution summary and then submit the data so it means we need to lock uh, all these four text box so let's select this text box okay and here you can see that uh, this is the properties so it's a combined properties for all these text box so we need to make it a locked currently it's uh, false so make it true so now it the text boxes are now we have done with uh, designing the second form that is a resolve complaints form so uh, this is uh, all about uh, part 4 of the tutorial where we created the second user form to resolve the pending complaint in our next tutorial we will insert a blank module in this project here like we will insert a blank module and then we will start writing the code uh, to handle all the required features and functionality i hope you have enjoyed this lesson and if you have any question you can always ask me in comment section if you have not subscribed uh, our youtube channel then please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get the notification of all upcoming tutorials if you find uh, this tutorial useful then please like share and comment thanks for watching let's move on to the next part of the tutorial